What's up? But. But. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Happy Friday as I pour myself a Friday night beer. We're going to be doing so. For those that don't have never but. seen Tales from the Dark Side, you don't know what you're missing. Mm -hmm. This show was amazing. It ran from, I should have to look that up. 84, oh, right? Or 83 or 80? It was like 84 to like 80. It was like 88, I think, something like that. Am I correct? Yes. I I think I told you guys, maybe both you guys or myself, my first, this was my one of my first introductions to anything horror. I, then again, I'm not the elderly statesman of us three. I, I, I not think a far I'm, like us. I'm the child of the group. <laughs> You're the bitch. Um, uh, actually, Bill... No, both of you guys can help me. Was this really when they aired new episodes? Was it after Saturday night Saturday Night Live? Is that right? It was the same time. It was at eleven thirty on Saturday on Saturday nights. Okay. Like see, so Bill, I when I first watched it, it was already in syndication on WGN. Did you ever watch it when it was in syndication on WGN? That's when I watched it. Um, I, I watched it probably when it was both new and in syndication. You know what? Anytime I heard that do do yeah, oh, you know, it's time to watch, you know. Yeah, what was where was it? What channel was it? So it was WGN by you guys? Because by me, it was channel 11, WPIX, every Saturday mm. night. Bill, that for whatever it was new, I don't know what station it was. I just know I was watching syndication and when it was WGN, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it was new with WGN. I don't know. I, I, I feel that it was channel 9. I could. I, I, it says so long ago. God, I can't remember. Probably channel 9. Though. That was our local, you know. They usually had this kind of stuff on that channel, you know. They did. I think that's where I first watched V. Remember, well, the original V. v. Yes, V yeah. was awesome. Yeah, I thought it was on a major network. I thought that was on like ABC or something. The it, I think it was on ABC or ABC when it first, but then I got I watched oh. the syndication. Yeah. yeah oh, v, I course. watched when it was on. I remember me and all the neighborhood kids would go out and play V in the park, you know, with guns and shit after that each episode. <laughs> Look at now, Lee hanging up, hanging out with us from over the pond late night. What's hey, up? Hey, Lee. And Gene, hello. Hey, What's Gene? up, Gene? Raccoon Ra eyes. Raccoon eyes. Found the series on Daily Motion. I kept forgetting. That. Oh yeah, it's such it. It's it doesn't disappoint. It's so much fun. It's like it's like a modern day version of like the Twilight Zone. Yeah. And you guys have yours, right? The, I think we all had a similar one, right? Yep, I got mine. Well, this is just a slip cover. Mine has the slip it's cover. Slip cover. Yep. Oh, excuse me, Pat. <laughs> I got the slip cover. How dare you? Oh, you started out with the bootleg. Oh, the bootleg. Years ago, before they had it officially on DVD, I hunted down a bootleg on eBay of all four seasons. I mean, wow. it's wow. Really Look at you with the bootleg. Yeah, but then, you know, once it got official, I had to hit the official one, you know. Oh, yeah. Now, did you guys for, watch, was your first episode the pilot episode? Because I'll tell you what my first episode was, and that's probably why I was hooked. I don't know. What was your guys' first episode? Do you recall? Um, Hmm, that's a good question. I think my first episode, oh God, what was it called? I can tell you right now. It was with Christian Slater, where oh, his wow. the, the grandfather it doesn't know he's dead. Then he come he comes back to life and he starts rotting. He doesn't realize he's dead because he's he's like a cantankerous old man and refuses to die. Uh -huh. you know, like he's like he's like grandpa, you're dead. Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> I remember that one, yeah. And he starts and he starts rotting and everything. Oh god, I can't remember the name of the episode. It's making me think of a little bit of like our second episode we're gonna watch, right? Dad, who are you? You're not my kid. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know if it was my first episode, but the one I always remembered the most, of course, was in the closet with the little thing living in the wall, the one that Tom Savini directed. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There was like a precursor, like well, actually it was right after Creep Show. Was after in Creep the Show. in the closet and Monsters in My Room, I think was the other one. Those are the two I remember a lot. Yeah. And like, and who was who was the the guy that owned the house in that? That was um, he was um, um uh, Hal Holbrook's Show. buddy in Creep Show. Yep. Yeah. Uh, God, I can't remember mm -hmm. his name from the crate. Yep. Yeah. He's escaping me. My name. His name is, is Fritz. Fritz Weaver. Fritz it, Weaver. That sounds familiar. That could be it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's funny. Like, well, like you, I said, well, just the just the intro music used to scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. And you know, you, you heard that music, and right away you got you know freaked out. But I, it's one of those things you can stay by it, but you can't wait to watch it at the oh, same you time. You can't wait, yeah. And then, like I said, I, I should you, the Everscade uh, banner here because every show for 20 years, the, the Everscade, when we open up a gig, that's what we open, that's our intro music, Tales from the Dark Side. Whoa. I should, but, I'll next, I'll, for the next episode, but 
<laughs> next episode I will have it uploaded. I should have uploaded it myself. And we, uh, Pat we has, said, you sent that uh, post uh, from somebody uh, that was that was with the director, right, or the the creator that found the locations. There was this big debate. Find them, like, yeah, yeah, because this, because this is a George, this is a George yeah. Romero show, so of course it was going to be filmed in and around outside Pittsburgh. Of Pittsburgh. Yeah, just so that, that that so that photo was right outside of Pittsburgh. I'm like, that is fucking awesome. So yeah. if I ever make it to bridge. Steel City Con, I'm going. There's the bridge. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's the bridge on your There's shirt. The oh, hell right yeah. there. there it is. But, <laughs> but it's on Bill's shirt. I have never seen like creepier clouds in my life when those credits start, though, those opening credits. It's like it's daylight clouds, but you're like, oh, the music. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, good eyes. I keep thinking Tales from the Hard Side, the Biohazard song. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god biohazard yeah. oh look at lee's on the phone in bed not watching and not drinking seriously are you not feeling well oh lee i hope you're feeling well because we're drinking if you weren't overseas i would say get out of bed <laughs> get out of bed damn it it's only what 9 10 11 12 1 2 was it 2 it's what 2 12 there come on <laughs> good stuff so yeah, so if you unfortunately there's no place that this is streaming right now. So we can't even give you a link or tell you what to stream it. So you have to have a physical copy. So we all have so you can go right on Amazon or wherever. You can get it real cheap. I mean, I, I paid $24.99 when it came out. Yeah, it, it's that's what it's like, for on Amazon right now, like 25 bucks, and you get it in yeah. one day, one day shipping. Yeah, and I even and think you can find every penny. You can even find some on eBay. I bought mine on eBay for eight bucks. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> worth crazy. every penny. I used I actually had the first three seasons. I still have them because because remember when they used to just come out with season by season before they gave you the mm -hmm. big box set. So I have three yeah. the first three seasons singularly because I kept buying them when they came out. Then it came out with this. I'm like I'm just gonna buy the whole fucking thing. And then they had the VHSs that all had different colors, right? If I remember right, were yeah. they like I never had the VHSs were like three or four tapes per season. Yeah, it was like three mm -hmm. or four tapes for one season. Yeah, I never had the VHS. Never had it. I just remember. That yeah, I never had them, but I seen it. Yeah. Oh, this is good. I'm looking forward to this. I didn't see until we I turned it on just to get like a head start a couple of days ago. I was like, oh, it's four episodes a disc. I was like, maybe we should have done four, but who I didn't know. I that's three's three's probably, fine. We can hang out in chat. Enough. Then we can just bullshit with everybody in the chat, whoever hangs around long enough to, for for us to just chat. So the first episode is called what is it? Trick or treat, right? Motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Trick or treat. The pilot. Uh, the pilot yeah, episode. The pilot, if you look it up, it's actually uh, episode zero. It's not even considered part of the series. It's it's the pilot, you know. <laughs> With our so, star uh, Bernard Hughes, who played what Grandpa in the Lost Boys. At least that's the one thing I remember him from. Yeah. Gideon, uh huh. Gideon Heckles. Does it say whatever? He was uh, the Grandpa in Lost Boys. He was also the old doctor in uh, Doc Hollywood, the one that uh, ah, yes! Michael J. Yes. Fox was taken over for. Yes. yes. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Hey Ryan, Cheers. we're doing good, man. We're gonna we're gonna watch one one of this is in this is in my top five favorite TV shows of all time. Yes, how's the weather down Easy. in Texas? It's got to be pretty good, man. It's got to be pretty good. So let's do this. Where I had it all queued up, I lost it. What did I do? Where, where is it? Where <laughs> is I'm going to grab oh. my re remote. So when you say three, I'm gonna go run and hit play because my uh, wire my <laughs> remote is on the fritz. So. <laughs> It's on the Fritz Weaver. Damn Skippy. Oh, it let me pause this time. Before telling me pause. Okay, good. Let me get it all queued up then while you do your thing. Do you think, cuz? Okay. Let's see if, if it gives me the menu. I'm gonna go get but Grant. this it is playing on the comment channel that I know. Because I was yeah, but it's live, nice surprised. But I don't think you can nice. watch it on on demand and comment. 82 degrees today. Wow. So by me, it wasn't bad here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Plus, I work in Jersey. So, so my heat is, is propane heat. So we went to turn the heat on last night. I realized I ran out of propane. <laughs> so everybody's like, she's like, there's no pro I'm like, yeah, there's no propane left. I'm like, so everybody's sleeping with two blankets tonight. We'll get it tomorrow. Yeah. It's not like it was going to fall below below zero. It was like in the 40s. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Been so up and down here. It was like 80 degrees like three days ago for two or three days in a row. And now this morning it was like 39 degrees when I got up. That's probably why I yeah. keep getting sick. 
yeah, one day it's 80, one day it's 30. It's like, come on. You know, you head your ass, you know, shit will get off the pot. What are you doing there, Brady? Okay, whenever you guys are ready. All right. One, two, three, hit play. So we're doing trick or treat first. There it is. There it is. So for those, unfortunately, like I said, it's not streaming. So if, unless you have a physical copy, we're watching the pilot episode, Trick or Treat. And if you're not going to watch this week with us, go on Amazon. It's worth every penny. Take our word for it. Lives in the sunlit world. Of what he is to be reality. Here he comes. But. Look at those trees. <laughs> those creepy. Trees oh, awesome. It's so fucking creepy, man. The twists. <laughs> so if I make it to Steel City Con, I am definitely going to this location. I'm so going there. I like how it blackens out here or whatever you this darkens the lens. That's so I cool. always liked this font of the Tales from the Dark Side before it did the other font. This smoke yeah. remember it was like Same. more proper, like you know, I didn't like that. Yeah. I like this one. Kind of like the now, more uh Gothic looking one. You know? Yeah. All right now there's the grandpa from Lost Boys. Do you know who the other guy is sitting next to? Me? Bernard Hughes is the other uh that guy with the glasses. I know yeah, he was oh, the dad the dad was... and elf, Max Wright. Yeah, that was the, the dad, dad from Elf. elf. <laughs> he was the, and he was the dad in the Grinch. Oh, was he? The Grinch with Jim Carrey, he was the dad. You ever read about like his time making that show Elf? It's hysterical. Like he had no fun at all. He couldn't stand that like oh, they really? were second second fiddle to an animatronic uh alien. <laughs> he didn't seem to have fun. You listen oh, to him no. talk on there. Oh, hey, Raccoon, that, that that episode is the next episode. That's Vic Tayback from Mel's Diner. Yeah, he, he's in episode two. Yep. We're watching the first episode, Trick or Treat. Bernard Hughes is wearing like one of those poker table hats. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Gene. Gene saw a video on our top five annoying characters. Hers is everybody in Freddy's Dead. <laughs> but. You have the TV guide. You don't need a TV. So. He died. He lived to ninety. This guy, if he no. was alive now, he'd be a hundred and nine. <laughs> Just died in 06. It's a good pilot too. This is a good yeah. introduction to the show. It's, it's one so of my favorite great. episodes. The very first one. It's a great episode. Yeah. This is the only episode they ever made. Fright Rags made three Tales from the Dark Side t-shirts. And this is the only spe um, episode-specific shirt they made. That design I, I used, uh, that I sent you for the for the, the, the flyer and everything. That was, it. Yep. That, it was a t-shirt that Fright Rags made that was that oh. design. Just for this episode. You know, it's the only one they went specific for. I'm going to try only when uh, we're doing these episodes like ahead of time. I'm, I'm not going to go look far in advance when we see these no unknown people at the time that become famous and other stuff. It'd just be fun as we're doing a few episodes. Oh, this guy's in this, this guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Those are my root beers and Oreo cookies. <laughs> I, I wish they'd come out with a t-shirt with this guy on it. This little oh, chick right here. He's awesome. Oh, yes. Now, it's one of my other favorite episodes, the one that we'll, we'll get to it, the one where like the drifters, like the hitchhikers stumble upon the house and the, and the, and they have the hot tub and they keep, the girl keeps going in the hot tub and eventually they cook her in the hot tub. Yeah, oh. That sounds from, remember, and I haven't watched these in so long, but you remember that one? Oh my God, I love that one. Yeah. She's like, they, they, they give her wine that's like, that's uh, drugged. So she's like, oh, this is great. And then you see her come in. She's putting vegetables in the hot tub because she's going to make say. a stew out of her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd be watching these as a kid, man. And I'd be like, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> I love these well, as a kid. And it just like, it'd be, that's why when that's Tales from the Crypt came out, I was so pumped for it because it was like, oh, there was like when this one ended. And then that one kind of picked up almost right when this ended, you know? So it was just, you always had a horror anthology going back in the 80s. It, what was nice about Tales from the Crypt, it was. Like when it came to maybe gruesomeness, it's it was an upgrade to this. 
This does it. This oh, yeah, doesn't. Sure. This didn't need it. This was just frightening in itself. It didn't need the the extra gore and. Yeah, and this was made for TV, where that's made for cable. You know. Lee had a nice oh. day watching Hard Dogs, Crystal Lake Memories, Never Sleep Again, Living with Chucky, and Wow, wow look at you! You awesome. had a full day. Yeah, that's a, those are some long docs. Those that, are yeah, good they're not short by no means. They're like four or five hours each, aren't they? Yeah, look at you. I, you know what? It's funny you said something about Tales from the Crypt. If we, we could keep going with this thing, I would love to do Tales from the Crypt too because I, I watched all those from the start of the show. Because obviously, I'd do oh, that. Yeah. I'd love those are great. I've seen most, I've if not all. Four of them. Seasons, I- This kid from anything I met, the, I thought I looked him up. I don't think I saw him in anything else. He's he looked so familiar, but I couldn't figure it out. He needs a haircut. Did you guys like the Friday? Th- yeah, oh yeah, uh, the Friday the Thirteenth series. I actually liked the Friday the Thirteenth show. I used to watch it all the time. I didn't get into it as yeah. much. Yeah, I I I, 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 I wasn't over the moon so about much. it, but it was fun to watch. I I think Tales from the Dark Side is much better. Oh, mm, no, for sure. My parents used to watch that Friday the Thirteenth all the time, and I, I just wouldn't watch it just because there was no Jason. You know, I was like, just like yeah. you know, Halloween three back in the yeah, day. Right. The Michael Myers, screw that movie. There's no Jason, <laughs> screw that. But then I caught myself watching it with them a few times. I was like, oh, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> he, he, this guy, this Bernard Hughes, he's he's a real good actor. He's so creepy. But I was telling He's Brett, if you watch some of the old All in the Family episodes, the Catholic priest, this is the guy who plays the Catholic priest on the All in the Family shows. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, I've been Can watching you... a few of those. I've been watching All in the Family here and there lately again. Not... Remember the episode where she loses control of her shopping cart and she hits a car and she leaves the note? And Archie's like, Why'd you leave a note? And he's like, yeah. They gotta come here and shake us down. And who shows up at the door? But this guy is a, is a priest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's the same episode. That's it. That's, yeah. Me and my wife still to this day, when uh in that episode when Edith, she keeps saying cling peaches. And cling our, peaches our, and heavy syrup. Better, so she stops saying it. She cuts going, mm, mm, mm. me and my wife do that to each other all the time. <laughs> he's like, he's like, coming from the beginning, and don't mention cling peaches with heavy syrup. Well, first I was there to get you mm, mm, in heavy syrup. <laughs> <laughs> and that was and he was he was the he was the uh the priest. Now this guy, I've That's seen this guy in other stuff, the guy that just walked in. The father? Yeah, the other the other guy that just walked in. He says, mm, thoughts on okay, Cabinet we... of Curiosity. And I haven't watched it. What's Cabinet of Curiosity? I, I hate to send it. No. What is it? I okay, let's it. go to town. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is Cabinet of Curiosity? He goes, I don't watch a lot of Netflix. My daughter's always watching, so I never go on. So is hey, it like Lurch. a horror thing? It must be. I, I don't know of it. I'm gonna have to look that up. Lee, let us know. I have no idea what it is. I'll have to check it out. If it sounds it sounds interesting. Good to see our other. Oh, man. Lurch, what's Carolina up? Carolina boy. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Lurch? Lurch, do you have do you have copies of this? Can you watch along with us? I know he said he was going to join us, so it's awesome. Yeah, you look like a Tales from the Dark Side guy. Yeah, this guy you're talking about, right, Brett? Yeah, I've seen him somewhere. He's been in a bunch he of stuff. He used to play a lot of, like, he was in a lot of things. He's a bit actor. One of those guys. Yeah, he's a character things, actor. Like, There's been a lot of stuff. Or, yeah. You know, he was in, uh, he was in, like, the Chud, I think. He was in. Uh, oh, Chud. Oh, my God. I think like cue the winged serpent, like a bunch of old movies like that from way back in the day, playing like a cop and you know stuff like that. <laughs> and later on in this episode, the witch, the the witch that comes is creepy as hell. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Very cool effective. Effective. She has that creepy laugh. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Very. She ain't got tree. Look, if there was some guy that did his house up like this every year, I would so go in there. <laughs> That'd be fun. Dude, everybody would be there. Nobody would be like forcing their kids to go. Everybody would be going there. 
it looks no, unfortunately, it's not streaming anywhere. That that's that's the downfall of this. It's not streaming anywhere. The only place I found it, it, it plays on the Comet channel. I found it by accident. You can find it. It's really affordable to buy the set, though. At least yeah, it's worth it. If you, if you buy it, it's worth every penny. Lurch, like 25 bucks on, uh, on Amazon, man. Get all four seats. <laughs> he says, I'm going to leave them out where they can find them real easy. He tucks them way up in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of like the Scrooge of Halloween, this guy. Totally. Right? Totally. <laughs> All the, the old school microphones and stuff. They're like a tube. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like an oil filter. <laughs> yeah. He's looking through a fucking horn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. It's like he's it's like he's in a submarine, right? <laughs> yeah. I wish there now, was a house apparently, when I was a kid like this. If you watch the credits, it says Joshua Miller's in this, which is the kid from Near Dark and uh, and uh, River's Edge. Uh, Maybe that was I the can never find him. Maybe it was the son. No, that's not him. The one that they just showed. No, that's that's Guillermo del Toro, it new horror series. Hmm. And he good. I haven't seen brother, it. There's a brother and a sister. It it's a cabinet of curiosity. I have to write that down. I'll probably go next to my to my neighbor's house later and hang out and have a couple of drinks. Maybe I'll watch it. Hmm. Yeah, Lurch, it's worth every penny. Go get go definitely it's worth getting. I'm like I'm getting so like uh this is where I'm getting Oh it was shit. Okay, th thanks for the heads up. <laughs> we need like I just... now I'm now I'm getting anxious. They need like an HD version of the show. <laughs> it's all my quality is like ah. <laughs> He's got such a sinister laugh too. Oh he does. Hey, no. He's great. <laughs> Commercial. And like this whole scene here with this house, it, it always reminded me of, uh, I wonder if you get inspiration for the, the, the movie Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. Where, the, where Sam goes into the house and he sort of takes care of the people that almost sort of don't believe. Yeah. Sort of reminded me of that. Yeah, I could see that. See, either one of them. Are. Hey, he's, he said some, some cool stuff, though, right? That might have been <laughs> one of those kids right there, Bill. I bet you. It's one That's of them. what I thought, but it didn't, neither one of them looked like him. I mean, that kid is pretty unmistakable, you know? He's got a really distinct look to him, you know, and I, I can never notice him in this anytime I watch it. All the damn vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Muldoon. Look at this kid. Going to see the Widow Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass in there, kid. Get me out of debt. That looks like a psycho killer. Pat, I, know. He, I know we're talking Tales of Dark Side. Is this only two pages? Is that right? Um, yes. I thought, yeah, it's, it's two pages. Is it two pages or is it three? Or, sorry, is it just this? There's nothing. Is it two pages? It's just one big page right here. Yeah. <sighs> Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to remember if it's two or three. I could be wrong. Hold on. Sorry, you can tell me later. I didn't mean to change something. No, I'll, I'll go check it out. Hold on. But it's here. He's here. Mr. Hackles. Yep. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember if it's two or three. Hold on. Those freaking eyes, here. man. Is there a staple? There's no staple in it, right? No staple. I'm pretty sure there's a staple in it. I could be wrong. Oh, no. There, okay, right now. Hold on a second. Uh, 
<laughs> Look at him. He's just. Uh, no, the, no, it is. There's no staples. So you're right. It is just one page. You're, so you're good. Wasn't sure if it was two or three. Yeah. No, it's just, it's just one. I okay. love that. Uh, I love that. Besides him just looking through uh, pipes and talking through funnels, he's also working everything with like pulleys and wires. It's like, yeah. it's so like uh, organic, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He just starts pulling he's like the whiz. strings and a bat starts flying across the room. <laughs> he's like the whiz from Wizard of Oz. I'm yeah. Wondering, think about this with this show. Do you, could they really do something again? I guess they could if it was creative, right? What's that? Do we re revamp this? Yeah, it might be hard. Oh, it'd be great. I'd leave it alone. Something. I'd leave it alone. This is classic. But you know, it's be good same. because since it was on regular TV, it's like so good that it's not gory. It's not like mm -hmm. obscene. It's just perfect. It's like the Twilight Zone. It's on regular TV. Yeah. It's just enjoyable. It didn't have to be over the top. Although, or after you watch the next episode, I tried to play that game the other morning. I asked my wife, whose kid is this? That's your son. I'm like, I don't have a son. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just I'll do it all backwards. <laughs> but it's about to get interesting. Da bears. What an asshole. <laughs> and the funny thing is, this was probably like 84. So he was like <clears> a <throat> priest in the only family in like the mid 70s. And he looked just as old then <laughs> as he did yeah. here. You know, those actors that just look old, no matter what time frame they're in, they always look yeah. old. Yep. Well, Steve Martin's looked the same his whole career. <laughs> I know. He, I, well, I he's had gray hair since 78, 79. Yeah. <laughs> Watched, yeah, I was watching Dirty Rod Scoundrels. I'm like, this guy's had the same color hair for 50 years. Yeah. <laughs> you watch those old specials of, in the 70s of him mm -hmm. with the white suit and the freaking arrow through the head. He had gray hair. Yeah. I can't believe I, when I was watching that, the, the female lead, Glenn Headley, she she passed away like 10 years ago. I was, I was, There's the witch. Oh, this is creepy as shit. Trick or treat. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. You know, she looks like like the lady in the people under the stairs that lives in the house, that actress. Yeah, she does. Yeah. That was on Twin Peaks. I read somewhere that um, there's a devil in this eventually, and, and, and they said that the, the, the laugh of the devil was Tim Curry's laugh. No oh. shit. Happy birthday. That's what I read. Today, too. Or is it yesterday? Yesterday, today was his birthday. Yeah, something. Uh, I saw it somewhere. Probably Colin Murdy probably posted. He always posts everyone's birthdays. That's awesome. Oh, God. So oh, creepy. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those teeth. Back up, bitch. <laughs> He's like, my receipts, my receipts. Oh, like George and oh, Seinfeld. The, the voice, the devil, that's gonna, the devil that's going to come up here. The voice is Tim Curry. Is that what you're saying? Uh, that's what I read somewhere. Yeah. Now, what do you think that the show, my I'd money. assume it just got canceled probably, or they just, there wasn't really anything that. Any yeah, I wonder why. why. I I don't know. I mean, it did four seasons, so obviously people were watching it, like myself. Yeah, four seasons ain't bad, you know, for an old TV show. And no, I mean, cool. some classic TV shows like, like one of my favorite shows ever was The Odd Couple. That only ran for five seasons. Yeah. My money. Oh, my there money. There goes the safe open. There goes all his money. There comes the devil. Here comes the devil. Hellboy. <laughs> You're getting warm. 
And I love I love his minions on either side of him. Yeah. I mean, this is some creepy shit to be on regular that's TV. Like, that's like a Leatherface or Grandpa there on the left. Did you see that? I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Creepy shit. Lee says most fucked up episode of any horror anthology has got to be Vic Morrow's story, which he oh yeah, in, oh, in the yeah. Twilight Zone we did we did a watch along of the Twilight Zone movie uh, a couple of months back. There was a book. Uh, who wrote that book recently about that? That was... yeah. Well, you go on YouTube, you can see the rough, the raw uncut footage, which is just uh, it's just heartbreaking. Cursed Films on Shutter, you can check that out. Yeah, yeah. Cursed Films is a real good documentary on uh, Shutter. Oh it's... shit. Didn't, and by the um, way, tonight, late night with the devil. That's what I was about to say. Late night with the devil gone. starts streaming today, right? It's yeah, I just watched it before this. How was it? Yeah, what would you think? Okay. Menza, I, Menza? It, I, I, I don't like the negativity that came out just recently. People are like, oh, they use CGI in it. I'm like, if you're watching that movie, the problem if there was CGI in it, that wasn't the reason why. Like, if you have a problem with that movie, that should be it. Sorry. <laughs> just... <laughs> I thought it was all right. I thought it was all right. I think it, I, I, there was a, way too much hype for it, I think, because I was expecting more, I guess. I don't know. I, I thought it was all right. It was entertaining, but one of those movies I don't think I would need to watch again, you know? Yeah, I think that's a problem. I think some people, it's going to get built up now. Um, yeah. I, enjoyed I mean, it, was, it wasn't bad. It was good. It was entertaining, but, you know, I don't know. It was, it was all right. The guys I did Chicago, watch, I watched Monsters, but I, I didn't see all of the shows. Did you guys watch Monsters? It was pretty good. I only saw a couple of episodes. Yeah, I never same really thing. watched it. I, I liked it. I should go back and revisit it. I should. I just think that came on like when I was kind of, you know, that was on the like Saturday nights again or something. I think I was I was going out a lot and stuff like. I that. was like, older. That's why I didn't watch it. Like yeah, I watched that. Right. Is always there, waiting for us to enter. The music's waiting back to enter us. Until next time, try. To enjoy the daylight. Pat, you're dangerous when you talk like that. <laughs> Good shit. Episode one down. Let's go to the new man. The new man. This is awesome. <laughs> this, this one. <laughs> Big Tay back from from uh, from the TV show Alice. Mel's Diner. Okay. When you're ready for the new man. I started already. I'm, uh, hold on. Oh, you shit. Just started? You started That's okay. I paused oh, for a second. Wait. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'm just about to hear Man Lives. The Sunday World. Okay. I wonder if that barn and the silos are still there. But. <laughs> Get a little Twin Peaks vibe there. With I wonder the who voiced this. That'd be something to look up. Who voiced this? Oh, he's in there. He's He's been dead for a while, though. Yeah, I, I looked dead? it up um, before, and it said that... I mean, I know um, it says at the end of the episode, but... It's a judge in a couple up. movies. All right, so we're starting episode if you go two. To buy this on uh, Amazon, it, it has his name, the guy who does the voice, as, like, the main actor, even though he's not in it. He, that's, he, they're the, that's the name they list as, like, the star of the show. The new man. I think I'm a couple Maybe seconds. The devil is my Saturday movie night. Kind of. Excited. I'm hoping it's okay. Seems like it should be interesting. It's an entertaining walk. Hey, John, what's up? I watched the original Halloween movie at a drive-in. I later worked out upon its original release. My, my rather smashing girlfriend at the time had a driver's license and a new pony. Wow. So you got to see Halloween and its original run in a drive-in? That is awesome. It's also awesome right. that you're older than me. <laughs> okay, directed by Frank De Palma is where I was at. So. <laughs> Gene, have a good have a good weekend. Hopefully, we'll see you yeah, on Sunday night, night for the podcast. Cheers. Cheers. One second. Yeah, for those that don't of my age group, growing up watching Alice, the TV show Alice, that's uh, Mel from Mel's Diner. Flow, kiss my grits. Kiss my grits. 
<laughs> Good show. Used to watch it all the time, Alice. Mm-hmm. I used to watch it when I was a kid, man. I haven't seen it in about 40 years. <laughs> yeah, it was always on reruns. Yeah. Anybody going to go see Abigail? I'm hearing great things. Uh, so is, has it been released? It Came out today. Yeah. Okay. Darren Sands was raving about it. There's this kid. <laughs> this little kid is Super awesome. Kid. It's me. It's your son, Jerry. <laughs> I don't have a son named Jerry. <laughs> If I had a son, I wouldn't name him Jerry. <laughs> now, I could not put my finger where I saw this kid before. And then I, it hit me. He was the kid from uh, the kid brother from uh, Last Starfighter. Yes. It was uh, Liam's yes. little brother. Yeah. Yes. When I looked it up, that's one of the main things that came up for him. I just got that movie last year on Blu-ray. My my sister-in-law got it for me for Christmas. Yeah, Chris Hebert. This is this was such a creepy episode. And uh, he was on the '80s uh, show of The Twilight Zone. He have you ever seen? Too. No, I've not seen. Have you guys watched Ponty Pool? I know it, but I've never watched it. No, yeah, John, I haven't oh, seen it. Yeah, 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 I've heard that. of it, but I've never watched it. Is it any good, John? Pony Pool. Is that the one where they're in the recording studio or the, the radio station? I just remember people Pony talking Pool. about it, and I just I remember the name because it's a weird name. And I'm like, oh, one of these days I'm going to check it out. Fake Tabak always played a goofy thug on the monkeys. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was in a lot of stuff, not just in Alice. He was on like 10 episodes of The Love Boat. So I'm, I've watched this before, and people used to be like, I don't understand this episode. Well, the whole thing is like, he's that little kid. He's like drawing him back into the booze. Yes. Like that familiar yeah. thing that you, you know, you see. You know, what, you know what else the kid was in? Invaders from Mars, the remake. Mm. I only saw that once, like way back when it first came out. Trying to read what it says on the chalkboard back there. Oh yeah, never Jerry tried to see that. Him. So something, Jerry, something. Called for Jerry. Call him back. And here's the brother, Billy Jacoby, the brother from uh, just one of the guys. And he's dressed just like in just one of the just, guys. All balls. Just it, like it's he, a fact. <laughs> all balls. It. It's a fact. She's like, well, what if my balls don't itch? All balls itch. It's a fact. Terry ran off and joined the cult. Want to split our records? He was also in that movie, um, uh, Bloody Birthday. I just watched that for the first time last yeah. summer. Now I remember out. where yeah, that I saw, guy I was. I that a long time, Bloody Birthday. Pat, the, he guy was that, a good one. the guy that Bill and I were talking about that was in Chud. He's the guy, cop in trading places that yells at uh, Dan, uh, Dan Eckert, take off your clothes. That's that cop. That's who that was. Yeah. <laughs> See, I knew he plays cops in a lot of those old eighties movies. Then the other cops strip you little shit before I tear you. In B- Billy Jacoby was real young. <laughs> Remember the movie Nightmares? That anthology. I, the... I, I want to rewatch that. A lot of people have been bringing that up lately. He was in the episode with Emilio Estevez, a young Emilio Estevez. I'm gonna say what Emilio Estevez, right? Yeah, I yeah. Seen that. When they um, since the eighties, he gets sucked into the video game. Yes. Yes. And what's good about it is the girl that's in it is Moon Zappa, and all the music is all from Fear, the band Fear. Oh, really? And they play, they play. Uh, Let's have a war. They play. Uh, I don't care about you. Go check it out. Do they play the trouble today with women? The mouth don't stop. <laughs> no. Well, I should play New York's all right if you like saxophones. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's uh, uh, what's the other song? 
You are making she it. She likes weird. my beef bologna. Beef, 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 beef bologna. <laughs> you ever see that footage when they played on Saturday Night Live? Oh, oh. God. That's classic. <laughs> Yeah, they the narrator never allowed that. <laughs> the narrator's name is Paul Sparer. That was the guy. That's it. And he played. Oh. I looked it up. He played a, a judge in like a couple different big movies. He said a ton of Law and Order shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dan Aykroyd, you are making a career decision here. <laughs> <laughs> This is a wild episode, man. This, this is a strange, strange episode. <laughs> if you look this up on IMDb, um, it, you go down in the trivia section, and they say that this mm -hmm. episode has a lot of debate over it till this day with fans trying to figure out exactly what, what it means. Happened, There's what like it several is. different interpretations of is it. Is there a cult against him? Is there, yeah, like, yeah, there's a bunch of different shit. Yeah, I was like, wow, you yeah. know. Yeah, you know what, uh, Bill? I was looking it up here when you were saying that. I was like. He's like supposed to be his addiction. Laurel Productions has never confirmed that any of these theories are true or what Jerry is supposed to be. I was always supposed to be like his addiction. Yeah, coming it's obvious. Back. It says it's obvious that Jerry is the physical manifestation of alcohol addiction. The manifestation comes as Jerry wants the dad to remember the feeling and the taste before he quit drinking. <laughs> Any thoughts from Ooh, the panel <laughs> on the 81 leaked info about Chris McPeace being in the proposed? Any thoughts from the panel on the 81 leaked info? What leaked info? I mean, it was always understood that he was supposed to be, he was, his name's actually on the album, The Elder, that he was supposed to be in the film <clears throat> that just never got made. Is there something different that I'm missing? I honestly don't know. He was always supposed to be in the in the in the the elder, which just never got materialized. Oh, this is wild. <laughs> He's like the perfect guy to play the dad in this episode. You know, I don't know really who this throws, kid is. but you know what throws you off is like it's been like two days that since he had been at work, right? The next day, right? You think it's the next day. But well, then he goes day. back in and he's like, that was over a week ago. Remember, the whole week transpires. Yeah. And yeah. he hasn't shown yeah, up for work. And the th the, I always drew a parallel from this episode to the episode in The Twilight Zone with Talkie Tina with Telly Savalas. Mm. Oh, uh, he was the angry, mean dad. Looks just like Vic Tabak. I like think it'd be yeah. brothers. Well, yeah. Jerry, too. See, I think the theories come into play because Jerry is another. There's another guy at the sales desk then at, towards the end, right? There's another right. Guy. He comes. Right. Yeah. There's another guy in his desk who has his job and who shows up at Jerry. Yep. Yeah. The same thing. Yeah. Like it's happening. Like, and almost like the, the boss is the devil or something like that because the boss is all behind it. He's all smiling. Like he, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I understand it's the 80s, but the wife needs a new hair cut. <laughs> that was that was the 80s hairdo. That was a Sheena Easton hairdo. Yeah. My baby, my baby takes the morning train. Yeah. <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, Bonnie I, Tyler. I think of that freaking movie Euro Trip when they the guy sings that song. Oh god. What's the Manchester United fight song? And he starts singing that. <laughs> <laughs> Raccoon said Raccoon I says, Do you remember night visions from the 80s? Yes, I do. It oh, was very yeah. Twilight. Yeah. I didn't really watch it that often, but I remember it. I remember the logo and everything. I never saw all of it, but I did catch a couple of it. Yeah. Now, 90s, I, will, I was in my 20s, so I was always out partying, but I did watch a couple of episodes. I will tell you, my sister was a big fan of Freddy's Nightmares, and I didn't mind Freddy's Nightmares. It's just I, I didn't have to watch it again. You know, I've been really wanting to rewatch those. They're on something, right? I don't think it's too beat. They're on something right now, streaming. And uh, I've been really wanting to rewatch them because. I used to watch those all the time when they were on back in the eighties, but they were so bizarre because it was like two episodes and they would kind of connect in a way. And, but mm -hmm. they were so out there And England came to do the narrating, which was kind of cool too. Yeah. And I, I want to mainly want to rewatch the first one. Cause supposedly the first one is like about Freddie. 
like something like his trial or something like that. I forget. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Look at him. He's so evil. <laughs> I watched The Hitchhiker on HBO. That was kind of a dark show. Did you guys ever watch The Hitchhiker? The Hitchhiker was yeah. awesome. That was great. Yeah, I used to watch it. Great show. That was yeah. kind of a little bit like this, but it was a little more risque. I think there was a little bit. It wasn't yeah. exactly horror, but. Yeah, there was a, a lot of saxophones in that one, you know, sex scenes. <laughs> I know. It was awesome. I loved it. Back in the 80s, all them saxo the saxophones. Saxophones. <laughs> Lee started watching this stage musical of Evil Dead. It's good. Mm. I remember what, having a bag in grade school. What, some kid came up. What is that on? I've not seen that. The hitchhiker today. bag. It looks like the hitchhiker's bag. Where's that? I'll check that out. <laughs> Throw it on over his shoulder and start walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> the best was he was always show, inside uh, of where the show was happening. I'm Jerry, Dad. Good night. <laughs> It's not an anthology, but do you guys remember that show Werewolf from Fox back in the day? No. When Fox first started as a network, they had that show Werewolf. Yeah, I never watched it, but I, I remember it. But I never watched it. I used to I love that it. show, man. I used to watch it every week, and it just ended abruptly. And it and it's been out of uh, you can't find it anywhere for all these years. And just recently, it's been like popping up on YouTube and stuff like that. And I I found it on a channel, and I, I have it all set up to watch. I still haven't watched it, but. I've been I've been waiting for that for years. It was a good show. I remember I used to like that a lot. See, it's 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 interesting here because you can see clear as day he hasn't shaved. He looks like he's been yeah. sitting around a bit. Yeah, he looks like he's all strung like out. He's been hitting the bottle. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> this guy's my kind of <laughs> not father, but he knows how to party. <laughs> <laughs> you know who he makes me think of, Pat? But it's not the same kid. Remember the kid that uh, sits on uh, Al's lap when he pretends he's Santa on the One Married to Children episode after Santa dies? <laughs> he does, yeah. Man, you must be Santa. Santa smells like beer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. It's been now for like, what, a week? Oh, Raccoons watched Werewolf. Nice. Love when the pentagram showed on his hand. No, I don't think they ever did because it, it, it just ended abruptly. I don't think the ratings were very good, but I used to like that show. Also, the idea how this guy is trying to get him to drink, too. Yeah. It's really yeah. wild. It's your wife. It's your wife. And it's funny. If you watch a lot of the episodes, they have a lot of the same names at their towns, like Circleville. Hmm. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> what a little shit. That's cool. I never noticed that, that they have the same towns and stuff. That's pretty cool. I like when they do. Yeah, Lee, send like it to me. I'll check it out. Definitely send me a link. That's cool. I was like when they were all strung out, they just trying to make it seem like they haven't shaved. That's me every day. <laughs> so it's like, it must look like I'm a drunk. <laughs> It's like uh, Homer Simpson. He shaves his face, and then before he leaves the bathroom, it pops back up. <laughs> yeah, by the end of the day, it's back. Yeah. But before he even leaves the bathroom, it's like it pops back oh, up. Oh, shit, Brett. Up. Think of it. One week from tonight, we'll be drinking at Chiller Theater. Shh. Take it easy. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> Pat, you're going to show me the town. You're, we're going to stop at a brewery or something. We're going to do a whole bunch uh, of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm picking Brett up from the, from the airport. We're going to go to a brewery. We're going to go take a quick ride out to... Uh, Camp Crystal Lake. Yeah, we're, we're gonna good. go eat at the uh, Blairstown Diner. Are we where the Crystal Lake sign is at? Where they put that? Do you think we're able to at least take a picture at the sign, or is that in? <coughs> the, the, they, the Crystal Lake sign is where the Noby Bosco sign is now. Oh, okay. Yep. That's next weekend. 
Yeah. And you know what? Yeah, as, long as, as long as there's no gate blocking it, we'll drive in until somebody yells at us. Damn right. Make sure you film a bunch, man. I want to see all that stuff. What's that? Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna go live too. I'm gonna try to remember to bring my. Uh, I'll try to bring my selfie stick. Like Pat will probably have his too. So. Nice. Oh, that that's one of those old school houses with the saloon doors for the kitchen, huh? <laughs> Lee said good night, everybody. It's Stray I'm here. Is that, catch up. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Send me the link. Thanks Lee. for have joining us. Thanks. Three a.m. over night, in the pond, over the pond, man. Yeah, hopefully we'll see you uh, Sunday night for the podcast. Lee says, "Nice seeing you, Bill." Cheers, Lee. Where's Lee from? He's over in England. Wow. He's over in the UK. Wow, nice. Hey, good night, Lee. Thanks for coming out. Yes, thank Tell you. Told me he's got to go to Manchester. You, you got to meet up in Manchester. Meet up in uh, me and Darren and Frank. I don't have a son named Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be me tonight, drunk. I'll be over at my neighbor's house. I don't have a son named Jerry. <laughs> I love how I love how they leave Mike just like, what? one poster on the wall that's kind of half torn, so you could rip it off. <laughs> yeah, angled right where the right yeah. where the, the pitches of the roof, right? <laughs> Jerry, all the shirts say Jerry. There just happens to be a picture in the drawer of him. And a yeah. bottle. The bottle's in Jerry's drawer. <laughs> yeah, why would the bottle of booze be in Jerry's drawer? Well, and that, that kind of further explains, though, what you were saying, though, Pat. This is kind of. Yeah, the... it's him. Now, every time I think of Jerry in a movie or TV show, I think of uh, what's his name? Casey Sammy Asco or whatever, three o'clock eye. His name's Jerry, too. Jerry Mitchell. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. You just brought that up right before coming on here. I saw someone else had something about three o'clock high on. I, I, like, I loved it. I knew, I loved Dude, that, was that was one of those movies that was on like Saturday afternoon for like oh, weeks straight. No, I've so not. Fun. I've not seen that, John. Is that what you're talking about? There's a movie called The Elder and it's director Seb Hunter. Hmm. Can't say I've heard of that one either. No, I mean, you put that out. Yeah, because they put the <laughs> that, that was kit, one of the big kisses, blunders, <laughs> putting a soundtrack out for a movie that never existed. <laughs> yeah, I just picked yeah. up a copy of uh, Three O'Clock High last uh, year on on Blu-ray. What a good movie! Love it. I love that movie. Shit, he looks like me on a Monday morning. <laughs> no, Pat. Pat, that was us after our first night at uh, age forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Ways not. Oh, no, that was not. So. <laughs> Bill, I was uh, telling Pat that I'm going to, they're doing a 3D Dawn of the Dead 45th anniversary, and Ken Forey is going to be there at the music box. So, nice. gonna, my brother and I. The gonna music box here? Out. Yeah, I'm going to go check it no out. Way. So, you want to head north? My brother and I are going. So, when is this? Here when? he is. Hand that. Why can't I have a boss that just, just gets May in that booze? Don't fuck this up, Mitchell. Remember, that's what the one assistant principal said. When did you say that was, uh, Brett? May? Uh, I got it right here. Hold on here. Da -da -da, booking details. Wednesday, May 15th. Mm. Always wanted to see Dawn of the Dead in 3D for whatever reason. I'm not the biggest 3D guy, but it's the 45th anniversary and Ken Forey is going to be there. It's kind of cool. Right after uh, this episode ends in two seconds, I got to run and grab something real quick that pertains to Dawn of the Dead 45th. Yes, we'll pause before we do the next one. Yeah. Sure. I love when the, I love the smart ass looking face on the kid when he sees it and he's looking at him like, I'm here to it, fuck your world up. But isn't it tell you if there's look, a look at his face? <laughs> yeah, I'm here to fuck you up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it makes you think the boss, the other guys involved on it, the coworker yeah. too, right? Totally, because even the boss had that look on his face when he said, "Hey, kid, like you know, hey, you're right on time." Like he knows, you know, they're in cahoots. You know? <laughs> Ooh, is this our third one this week, buddy? 
What are your yeah, thoughts right. on a living, breathing Kiss 2.0 versus the Avatars? I'm I'm been the Kiss fan since 1975, and I'm totally okay if they just call it quits. But <laughs> just it's been fun. Don't stay too long at the party, you know. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab that. Go grab it. We'll take a break here before <laughs> because it's not gonna be the band I grew up with. So if if now the avatars, if the avatars came out and did like a cartoon with like different adventures and stuff, I'd watch it. But like I wouldn't go pay money to go to like a concert venue to watch avatars. I've seen Kiss about 20 times and I'm I'm satisfied. I can let it go. So I did talk to the Mrs. Pat about this. So, yeah. <laughs> and you're st and she's still talking to you. Yeah, she was like, "Well, is that a long term or short term thing?" I'm like, "Probably be a bit more long term right now." But yeah, it's it's looks as clear as day. I'll send pictures before Sunday. Yeah, it's not one thing. Is not going to do is go down in value. Yeah, but go go get a reproduction box. Why not? Yeah, that's all. So we'll start from there. Um, it's a number, it what's the number seven? Is that the seventh game that Wizard Video Games made? Is that what that is? I think so. But they didn't, they didn't make a, they didn't make many games. But no, every time it comes up, I miss it. And it was just this past weekend. <clears throat> Have you guys gone to the Monroeville Mall where they shot Dawn of the Dead? I um recognize. I know I've been there. Yeah. yeah, I know uh Brett's been there. Every time I'm gonna go, something comes up and I can't go. It's been like 10, 20 years every year. Although it was they just had it last weekend, right, Brett? Yeah, it was last week's Steel City Con. There's like Steel the Steel City Con was last weekend. There's the little museum that's like in a store at the mall where you can go through it. It's not that big. And they wanted like 30 something, 20 or 30 bucks for not it. Cheap like, to do it. To yeah, I was it. like, for how small it was, I'm like, I didn't do it. But you could go see the uh, resin statue. They have a sculpture of Romero in the mall. And it, you could see clear as day, like how some of it was. Yeah, it's the mall. And I recommend, I don't know how long, like I, we have malls around here in Chicago that I've, I, we've had two locally to me that one just went last month and one's going here in the next month. So. Yeah, malls are going by the wayside. Now you've heard you guys, I'm sure, have heard the rumors that that mall could be going too. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of Dawn of the Dead, 45th. But oh, look at that. Ooh, where did this come from? It's from Fright Rags. They had a uh, special, it's a reproduction of the uh crew shirt that George Romero gave to all his crew while they were filming the movie. Oh, how about that? That's cool. yeah, it was a pre order thing. I just got it in the mail the other day. That's really cool. nice, really cool shirt. It's like gray and it's 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 different than all the other shirts. Like, it's really I cool. I like how it's like an original production shirt. That's pretty yeah, cool. yeah. That's I had to have it. You know, I, I don't own an, a Dawn of the Dead shirt, and that's my favorite zombie movie of all time. I got this shirt for my fellow beer guys. It says you want a beer, isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a dumb question. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, bitches. Hey, you got the bottles. Yeah, that's a good bottled beer. Yeah. John's like I said, I had not had a drink all week, so I figured if I was going to have one, I was going to get the good stuff. Dude, they wanted $200 for Dark Lord Day. Fuck those, no. Those are some old ones, John. Holy shit. Uh, the Giant Behemoth. And the Andromeda strain, I know, but I've not seen. I've seen the Satan bug. That's got a young Ed Asner. That's got a Ed um, Asner. Yeah, young Ed Asner's in it. Um, Lou Grant. But the giant behemoth, and I know them, but I've not seen them. Have you guys seen them? I've seen, but I've seen the Satan bug. I've never even heard I of them. I heard of the Andromeda strain, but that was the only one I've heard of. But I've never seen it. Any of those? Yeah, I only know the that as well down the stream. Cool. Right. I, I, I watched those at John Behemoth and the Andromeda Strain because I know I've heard oh, of them. Uh -huh. Not seen them though. And and this season one, so you figure if we do three tonight, three in a week, whenever we can, whenever you guys want. This is the first season is is the episode slippage and who's in slippage. Is that the way you're telling me David Patrick Kelly's in? I never David remember. Patrick Kelly. That's what I was telling oh. you about. Luther. 
Luther. And the one right after slippage is my favorite, Inside the Closet. Inside oh. the Closet, yeah. That that Inside the Closet and the Monsters in my room are the two first episodes. Mookie and Pookie, what the hell is the, the one girl is it from Family Ties? Jason Bateman's sister. What's, oh, oh, the, the special feature is a commentary. Now track from Family Arrow, Ties, right? isn't it? What's that? I think the special feature, if I remember clicking on it, was the uh, audio commentary track for the first episode, isn't it? And the oh, odds, the, actually, the odds is good too. The odds has what's his name in it? Um, Danny Aiello. Oh my god! He plays a book. He plays a, a bookie. Yeah, like and I said, guy, I've been wanting to watch these again for so long, man. So I'm glad we're doing this because it's and the tall guy that, that comes back is. Um, talk about it. He was uh, one of Ronnie Dangerfield's buddies in Easy Money. You'll see. You'll recognize him when you see when you see the episode. Uh, well, so Ronnie Dangerfield's buddies in Easy Money were Joe Pesci and Tom Noonan. Yeah, yeah but the other guy was. Remember the other tall, skinny guy? Yeah, that's Tom Noonan. Tom Noonan. That's, 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 he, he, that's yeah, the guy. He that's, that's the guy. That's the guy. He's Red Dragon and uh, Manhunter. He's the guy yeah, that's in yeah. the Lodge with a dead. He's the guy House opposite Danny Ayala. Yep. He just I, turned. He's up there in age two. He's done a few conventions. I hope he'd come around here. Tom Noonan's oh, awesome. I'd love to meet that too. Oh, yeah, RoboCop that awesome. 2, remember? Oh, God. I forgot he's in RoboCop 2. Oh, man. <laughs> so let's do this. He was this also the, uh, the Ripper, Last Action Hero. He's in the wheelchair in Heat? Yep. The Ripper, yeah, Last Action Hero. Jack yeah. This is a good one, too. The next one that we're going to watch now, I'll give you a million. Yes. The one guy that's the, that's the greedy son of a bitch. Well, they're both greedy sons of bitches. But the guy that dies first, who... Uh, gives up his soul. He is the principal from Porky's. Oh boy! Here hmm. we go. Watch. Let's do. Uh, I'll Count give you a down. minute. So when we're ready. Three, yeah, two, one. Down. Three, two, one. Play. All right. Yeah. So you'll see. So the guy that's opposite the the main character who buys the soul, the guy that gives up his soul, that like basically goes to hell. He's the principal from Porky's. But. Hmm. <laughs> I actually think I gotta give Bill credit for that because when he was saying this when we were talking about doing this, he said "butt" like that. Now I say it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to start saying it tomorrow. My wife will be like, "What are you talking about? Stop! Just stop!" What you gotta do? What you gotta do, Pat, is like how you said the best asses in horror. You gotta have those all lined up so each time he says. But you could flash the ass real quick on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I should have did that. Oh, that yes. was my thinking. I mean, that was a good point. I was thinking, it's like, what can we you do get three, that for? Three per episode, you know? I'll be like, but tomorrow my wife would be like. <laughs> <laughs> nice, but. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they're drinking here? Scotch? Or co probably oh, cognac. Yeah. Cognac, yeah, that would be cognac glass, right? That's a cognac glass, sorry. I'll sniff in them. <coughs> Get that freaking mustache. <laughs> this guy gives me Tony Bennett vibes. <laughs> so, Bill, I got lucky with some Blantons again. I know you're not the biggest Blantons guy, but. Well, congrats, yes. though. I know it's hard to find. Yeah, after losing out on the, the pappy. Yeah, my wife came home today with another bottle of Ego Rare. I'm like, oh, she goes, it's for my sister. It's her birthday tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> so, okay. Jewel, Jewel's got it. You thought she, you thought she bought it for you, huh? <laughs> well, I still have a, a full one, so I'm good. But I was, when she came home, I'm like, oh, hey. No, it's for my sister. There you go. <laughs> Hey Pat, where are you at on your ego rare? You being uh, you being conservative there? <laughs> no, I've been drinking it like a fish. We'll have to do a shot. Good Come stuff, on. man. Real I'll good do. Stuff. Well, you can do a shot. Sure. Yeah. See, the thing with Blanton's is it's twice as much, but to me, it's worth it. I don't know. This guy's got the shakes. He was in a bunch. Of, he. I remember seeing him. He used to be in a lot of. Um, TV shows in the seventies. I remember him like in Canon, the Rockford Files. He was like I was everywhere. Say, both of these guys the look familiar, but I, yeah, I, I, I can't picture either of them. The guy with the mustache, especially to me. Yeah, with the chops. He was in a lot of TV shows back in the day. 
You know what I thought he, he was like the, in? I thought he was he in. He like the, the, the Raleigh, the Raleigh yeah. Fingers mustache. Yeah. Yes. The Ari Lehman. See, the guy Pat was talking That's about from Porky. Hunt. Have you seen the Night Stalker? I've I've seen the Night Strangler maybe uh, Strangler maybe once or twice. The Night Stalker. Are you talking about the night? Are you talking about the Night Stalker movie, right? Not not the TV show, right? Both with Darren McGavin, I thought, right? Not Kolchak, yeah. the Night Stalker. You're talking about the movies, correct? You know, I still have yet to watch Kolchak, the Night Stalker. I've had. Oh, it's that. awesome! I never saw awesome. him back in the day, and. I've had them in so many different uh, streaming services, like in my queue, and I still never watched it. My old man loves them. It's a good show, and the thing is, like, if you watch it after watching the Christmas Story, you always see the old man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you see him everywhere after you watch Christmas Story. I mean, that's all you can see him. Not a finger. Yeah, I just watched Happy Gilmore, and I, all I kept picturing was Billy the old Madison. Man. He's his dad, and Billy Madison. Or Billy Madison. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Billy Madison. You better get to bed, Billy. You got a big day tomorrow of jack off magazines and yeah. <laughs> jack off magazines. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they're playing water polo. Looks like Marco Polo. <laughs> <laughs> my, I just rewatched that. My favorite part was when he graduates like the third grade or whatever, and there's a band playing. Billy passed the third grade. Oh, what a glorious day! He has a party every like two weeks for every grade he passes. Yeah, <laughs> the, the the dark that one has such dark humor too. It's like I don't think I've seen the pilot movies. I've seen the shows, but I don't think I've seen the pilot movies. Freaking clown and the fucking. <laughs> yeah. I used to watch the Night Stalker. Uh, used to be on Nick at Night every night, and then it was on um, it was on Me TV. I used to watch it on MeTV all the time. I just know my old man had them all, and we watched them. He, he loved Cole Jack the Night Stalker. I give you a million dollars for it, for your soul. Every time, you know, he makes me think of Jack Warden, this guy with the mustache, and that's not Jack Warden, obviously. Royale my dick. You this start? episode reminds me of The Simpsons when uh, Bart sold his soul to Millhouse for five bucks. Yeah. And then <laughs> Mil Millhouse is playing with his soul with like dinosaurs and shit like that. If that's cognac, they could have that. That's rough stuff to drink. Uh, I love B. I'm a B and B guy. I love B and B. But Pat, you're a cigar guy. Isn't like. Doesn't cognac and cigars go like that's a thing, right? Yeah, cognac's not bad, but I'd rather have B and B. I, I'm a brandy guy. Can't These days, that. I'm whiskey. That's all I do. Uh, that's the only hard liquor I drink anymore is whiskey. Yeah, the brown water. Leave it to that. I know what it does to me. You know what I mean? I know how I function. I, I don't want. You know, once you start mixing all that different kind of crazy alcohol, yeah. Stay in your lane and you're good. You know, exactly. you, like you start mixing it up, it yeah, you'll just get worse. I'd assume that's how you probably go like I do. You gotta keep it simple. <laughs> I try and keep, I try and pick one thing and stick with it. Well, this travelers isn't bad. It was the Buffalo Trace stuff. Uh, you know, they, they worked on it with Buffalo Trace. But, yeah, I've never tried that. For the price, I don't think it's worth it, but that's why I'm finishing mm. it up. It's the one that was done with uh, Chris Stapleton. You know the what's he? Uh, mm. Is he musician, right? Yeah, country guy, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, bottled at Buffalo Trace. And that's still my favorite whiskey. Is just straight up Buffalo Trace. I love that stuff. I told Pat he should be able to find that. I know it's hard in some spots. I too. could probably find. Yeah, I just have to look. There's just something about the flavor of it, man. It has like a hint of vanilla or something to it. It's so good. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I think I go um, with those. It's Blanton's, Eagle Rare, E.H. Taylor, Buffalo Trace, and Wellers. I used to. I think Wellers is going down for me a little bit. Mm. E.H. Taylor's good. Yeah, Wellers think... and E.H. Taylor are like 
neck and neck for me. But I, I think uh, Buffalo Trace and, and Eagle Rare are probably my two favorites now. Oh, Maker's Mark, though. I love Maker's Mark, too, though. Yeah, you're a Maker's guy. That's right. Yeah. Pat, you and I should find the mint julep <laughs> because it's out. It's derby season. There's a real good episode of this. Um, remember the episode where the guy's running for office and he's, he turns he turns into a clown? Do you remember that episode? No. That one doesn't need a bell. It, trying to show that how it, it was basically like an analogy of how most politicians are bozos. They're fucking clowns. And they show this guy who's running for office and he's over the top. And I just remember mint julep because he was talking to the girl like, oh, you look like uh, you, let's have a mint julep together. And little by little, he he's he's running for office. He's a buffoon. He's not paying attention to anything at hand. He's just a typical politician. And little by little, he becomes a clown. And at the end, he actually becomes a clown. And you see him in the fucking circus and the car and everything. <laughs> <laughs> You'll, we'll get to it. I think it's in season two. Yeah. The outside of this house right there looked like something out of Creep Show. Looked like the guy's house from, from the crate with uh, Billy. Mm hmm. Wouldn't be surprised if it was the same house. Hey, Eric, what's up? Cold Jack TV series had two Strangler TV movies before the series came out. Nice stuff. Oh, so yeah, that's exactly what uh, John was talking about. I've never saw them. <laughs> I watched the TV show, but I did not see them, the, the movies. I love how this guy's in a super nice, rich suit. The last scene, yeah. <laughs> he's got just a jean shirt on. In that freaking straw hat. Straw hat, yeah. This is fun watching these. This is cool. Yeah, yeah. Very nostalgic. Takes me right back to being a kid, eleven thirty, watching it on channel eleven. I know it's so it's so weird, you know. I never imagined being a kid because my, I remember my parents would watch this a lot. So they would have they had the bedroom down the hall and they had this little TV up in their corner where if you were in the hallway, you could see their TV was up in the corner of their room, and I'd hear that music play. And I'd be like, oh, shit. And I'd look in the hallway, and all you could see is the, the trees and shit up in the corner. And I, mm -hmm. oh, man, I'd freak out, you know, until finally I got the strength to go in there and just start watching it with them. I was like, oh, this is a great show. Just that intro used to scare the shit out of me. This is great shit. I never thought back then watching that show that all these years later, <laughs> look at this. We're on, I don't. The internet, watching it together and shit. This, this is, is awesome. awesome, yeah. You never would have thought of it. Yeah, that's... What a way to relive it. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to get too far. Like, I don't mind, like, every if we're going to watch a few episodes, I do want to watch them ahead of time because, you know, we're talking through We're just trying to get, you know, a refresher on this stuff, but... I, I don't want to yeah. watch any episodes when I haven't seen them in a long time. Like, you guys are more familiar with it. I... A lot of these episodes, I'm sure these episodes I haven't seen. I, I've seen the majority of them, but I just don't remember a lot of them, too. So, well, I, I did the same I thing a couple nights ago. I, I, I kind of watched through these and I felt like I was cheating, but at the same point, I'm like, we're not, I'm not going to actually be able to watch them while we're talking. We're going to be talking mm -hmm. over it. I'm we're not going to be, gonna be able to, right? Yeah. So, so I kind of right. watched them, you know, just to refresh myself and know what we're getting into. And then, so that was kind of a nice way to do it. You know, I That's get to watch right. yeah. it twice. I took my notes. I was. <laughs> my... Well, this is good because now he knows right he's here, on his right. deathbed, so he's he's ready there, to counter off right by his soul back for a million. So he's thinking he's going to get an extra million on top of it. Yeah, yeah, shrewd businessman over here. Yeah, we'll have to get in touch with Frank too, Pat. He said he was still going. So that was Frickle, Numstein, and Patty Patch know all of Adam Sandler's movies were made in Canada. Is that a smart ass comment or are you just trying to uh, see our knowledge? Are they all made in Canada? I have no idea. I know I all those movies. I didn't mind Hubie Halloween. I thought that was funny. <laughs> I didn't Little see Nikki. Hubie Halloween. I do like Little Nicky, though. Hey, I, I heard mixed reviews about the Hubie Halloween, so I never watched it. And he's. He's a person I, I have to take in doses. Yeah, I'm not the biggest uh, Adam yeah, Sandler fan, honestly. I'm not over the moon about him. 
I yeah, uh, his first two, his first two, Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. I love those movies, but I agree. Other than that, there's there's ones here and there. Like Wedding Singer is pretty good. I like that one. I, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people didn't like That's My Boy. That's My Boy is one of his best, I think. I think it's a style. I, I like that one. I thought that one was pretty good, yeah. The Vanilla Ice And there was one that he did with, uh, there was one he did with um, David oh, Spade on Need for Netflix. It was pretty good. The one with uh, Big Daddy was wasn't bad. I don't mind Big Daddy. He had a good message to it. Yeah, he's all right. But Waterboy, I was disappointed with. I saw that in the theater. The one where he's got the twin, like the twin sister, that one. Was... The Waterboy was okay, but it was one of those ones, like, once I watched it, I didn't need to see it again. The Chuck and Yeah, Larry. I saw it in the theater, and I remember we left, we were all pretty disappointed in it. Click. Like, Happy Gilmore had, um, definitely had more rewatchability. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's the best one. I mean, Happy Gilmore is his best, there's no doubt. Yeah. And they're trying to, they're talking about a sequel to it. It's He's like, writing, man, you don't yeah. need a sequel, man. It was just, sequel. it was, just leave it alone. Yeah. We watched yeah, Happy Gilmore exactly. last week, and my son, he got a kick out of it because he yeah, saw Chubbs. He's like, yeah. Dad, it's Dylan. <laughs> 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 He's like, but I know he's Apollo Creed. I'm like, very good, son. Very good. You're educated. Very this good. This episode gets really weird when the, the, the dead guy shows up. <laughs> well, why is yeah. this wedding singer? Wedding singer is awesome. I can watch wedding singer over yeah. and over again. Wedding singer is a good one too. Yeah, and uh, uh, Fifty First Dates. I, I like that one too. I like Fifty First Dates. That's that's a lot of fun. Yeah, but look, don't watch his new one though. That astronaut movie. Ooh. Oh, and, and, and uh, what do you call it? It's good too. Airheads. Yeah, yeah. Airheads is really. I just rewatched it about a month ago. That one is still really good. Michael McKeon. I mean, uh, Kramer was in it. I mean, that's a good one. The Lone Rangers. Now he died. He's like, he died and I didn't get my million back. Yeah. <laughs> He's shaking now. <laughs> Big Daddy. <laughs> That's no good cheat. He calls him a cheat I want, he died. I want my own ass. <laughs> <laughs> but I want Joe and I always get it. We always, we always do the Big Daddy stuff. Old balls, gross. <laughs> Why well, is this a joke? Because my wife's cousin used to work at Hooters. <laughs> and he's always busting the one girl because she worked at Hooters. <laughs> My boss is a big Hooters fan. We have to go there because he gets their shrimp and their wings all the time. I love their wings. I do. Yeah. I do like their wings. I love their wings. I love their wings. He's like, oh, we got to get the jumbo pints of summer shandy. I'm like, dude, those are way too sweet for me to drink that much of those. Boobs are a plus, but I like their wings. I like a summer shandy, but I can't drink more than one of them. No, one or two, and that's about it. Too sweet. Way too it's like sweet. Blue Moon. Same thing with Blue Moon. Yeah. Maybe it's just me getting too sweet. <laughs> yeah, it is. If it's too sweet, it's uh, uh it give me stomach ache. Yep. This is creepy when the dead guy shows up and then there's a soul, there's the devil comes. Yeah, then he gets soul. Awesome. Yeah, doesn't he put the uh doesn't he brand them, right? He brands them like paid in full. Yeah. I love that too. As the guy's walking around, you just see the, the smoke and stuff coming out of the bottom of his pant legs. Dude, I you know, and I hate to go back to Adam Sandler, but that movie he made where he's the jewel guy that came out last year or two, that he did a hell of a job in that movie. Do you guys see yeah, that movie? Was, that, was that uh Precious Gems or something like that? Right, or? You know, Righteous Gems was a show, sorry. Yeah. Uncut gems, right? Uncut is that what it was called? I don't remember. Something yeah. gems, right? Something gems, yeah. <laughs> It was a different role for him, for sure. But the movies where he goes to camp with all the spouses and stuff where they were at the summer place, they made two of those. Those were fun. Grown-ups? Grown-ups, yeah. That was all right, yeah. Those were... Ah, oh, here we go. This gives me creep See, show like, vibes. Sh certain shots like oh, this. Oh, such creep show vibes. Totally think creep show. Right there, you totally expect to see right there the blue and the red behind them, you know, like mm -hmm. from Creep Show. 
the little lines coming out of his head. If you can hold your breath. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Take it. It's yours. There's certain episodes, you know, that are uh, you could think it's totally to give him his. He wants to give him his soul before the devil takes it. Yeah, you don't want it, you don't want the devil to take it. You'd rather this guy have it. I love how it's in that little jar with a little lock on it. it it's like uh, what do you call it? It's like the it's like the shit in um, Prince of Darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Except in Prince of Darkness, that was the actual devil, wasn't it? The green it was shit? the devil, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Pat, you see that pinball machine in North Aurora? <laughs> I, I did see it, yeah. Jeremy Moorhead and I were going back and forth about it. He's like, you should do it. I'm like, you're such an asshole. Don't do that to me. <laughs> what pinball? Uh, Halloween? The Halloween, Halloween pinball, pinball machine. machine. Somebody in North Aurora, Bill, selling one for like just under two grand less than the price he paid for it. Yeah. Nice. Did you get to play it when it was at Flashback a few years ago? Yeah. Did you? I didn't get to play it. My brother did too. And it was like, that was like, my, my brother's a big pinball guy and Halloween's his favorite movie too. So he was all still. Yeah. And Sean Clark made a video of him playing the game right there, you know? With Nick. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Nick. Flashback should be fun, Bill. We're going to have a good time, dude. Dude, I'm so stoked, man. They just keep adding more and more to it. Here's the devil. <laughs> Look at him. I thought you were going to say, uh, what's it like? Uh, uh, Detroit Rock City, the devil's music. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn Shay. <laughs> Lynn Shay. Kiss the devil's music. He looks I'm like Dave Vanian. Watch movie again. I haven't seen it in years. I haven't had VHS. I haven't had a working VHS in so long. Doesn't he look like a like a young Dave Vanian? I was thinking. Uh... <laughs> I was thinking of Wadsworth from Clue a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the Butler. <laughs> Pat Leaving. That's going to be one of the first guys got to go up to. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Bill. I go to him and go, ah, I love living in the city. <laughs> yeah, Bill, I think I'm gonna they're they're doing a hunter reunion there with Fred Dreyer and the other chick that from the Hunter Cop show. Remember that show in the 80s? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like they're both gonna be there. I'm like, I gotta get a picture with them. <laughs> it's awesome. Where they takes soul. Chiller Theater takes next week. Soul right out. Oh. That's a good, awesome. a good, good amount of people there. Pat and I, we're going to have the Silent Night, Deadly Night Santas from the first two films. That's awesome. That's that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Look at his eyes. Punish. The punish. And then the mom that gets uh, killed out on the road with some uh, booby action. <laughs> She's going to be there? there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? That's a brutal fucking scene, man. It is, but it's that first movie I hadn't seen in a long time we did a watch along. Good film. Fun. Film. Oh, great. I remember seeing that for the first time when I was a kid. And it, that shit made me almost feel sick. Like it just felt real and it felt like so dirty Dark. and gritty. Yeah, dirty. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. Well, it. there we go. Three episodes, man. Episode three. That's awesome. I love that. Paid in full. <laughs> Waiting for us to enter. Waiting to enter us. Until next time, try to enjoy the daylight. He almost sounds like he's about to laugh. Try to enjoy the daylight. <laughs> and then give me a cigarette. So the next episode will <laughs> yeah. do pain kill we'll do painkiller, <laughs> the odds, and Mookie and Pookie. So painkiller. Which one is painkiller? Well, when you hit painkiller, it's actually the video for Judas Priest comes on. Yeah. He is the painkiller. Go to Rob Halford. I know which one the odds is. I know Mookie and Pookie, but why am I drawing a blank on painkiller? It's a oh, drug. Let me see who's on it. I can just click real quick. Oh, that's a great one. I know that one. 
So that's the episode where the guy, uh, he has, he's had the, the devil comes and puts pain in his back. Yes. Nagging wife. Yeah. There's he's only a nagging wife. In the and he says, and he goes to a doctor. The yeah. doctor turns out to be the devil. And the doc, he's like, I can cure it, but you have to kill this person for me. And mm. each person has to kill the next person to get rid of the pain. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds familiar. So the odds and, are, yeah. Dana and, and, you, and for you old folks out there, when you watch this episode, who is the guy? That's the guy that used to be on. Um, all right, don't spoil book. it. Let's let's save it for next episode. All right, all right. I won't say who it is. <laughs> Ooh, Tippy Hedlund's in the one episode. If you guys if you guys grew up in the seventies and the eighties, you'll know exactly who he is. But, but, but. All right, so that's I haven't seen Painkiller. Wow, that's a good episode too. Holy shit, I'm excited. I can't wait till we do it again. Fuck, we got to do it sooner than later. Oh. I'm thinking. I'm excited. Yeah, this is awesome, I man. Yeah. This, is, this is fun. You got to get those butts ready for next time, so you can. Bot and put an ass on the screen. Yeah, I have to upload everything so you hear. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys appreciate what I was messaging you earlier this week. <laughs> you me. Oh, God. I'm telling the guys at work, like, what are you doing in your podcast? I'm gonna watch the Tales from the Dark Side, like Tales from the Who side. I'm like, go away. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> your young sons of bitches, go away. <laughs> See, I had the exact opposite. Just about everyone I mentioned it to was like. Really, that old show? Cool. <laughs> no, no. I mentioned to a couple guys at work. One, one or two guys is close to my age. I'm the oldest, and uh, they were like, "I've heard of that show, but if I watched it, I'm like, get out of here." I know Fuck everybody you. that I'm friends with would have no idea fucking about this shit. So. <laughs> the I next question is always, it. "Where's it streaming?" It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Ain't gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Mookie and Pookie, huh? That's the Tippy Hedren one. Okay. That's the one with uh, Justine Bateman and Mallory from Family Ties. The Twins episode. The Twins. Right? Awesome. United cool. Outside it in. So shall we do a shot off, off camera or you want to do one on camera? I don't mind doing one on camera if you guys want to. And then um, I, I'm going to get the kids to bed later. So if anybody's around, just to give me a hoot and holler. I'll be I might hit up <coughs> the neighbor and with Mike next door, but I'll be around. Uh, I'll well, uh, you want to do one now? Let me go grab one right quick then. Sounds good. You get one, then yeah. I'll get one. Yeah, we'll take turns getting one. So, for those watching, um, we'll be doing a podcast on Sunday, and we have no idea what we're doing yet because we've yet to plan it. <laughs> yes, we're going to find Joe. Joe, are you out there? Joe, are you watching? Joe. You just don't Earth know. to Joe. Where's Joe? Joe was MIA on Tuesday. We haven't heard from him. We know we're he's alive. Joe. <laughs> I know you went to go see Abigail. I didn't know what your receipt was that you sent Pat and I, but then it made sense. <laughs> then it made sense. Yeah. I assume that's what it was, right? Weren't you thinking the same thing? I didn't know what it was. I was like, well, I, I thought you bought something. I'm like, what do you buy? <laughs> what are you sending me? Don't be stupid. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the podcast. So we have to figure out what we do for the podcast because uh, where is it here? Wait till Brady comes here, back. Here you go, Pat. Look but. at that. But. but. <laughs> exactly. But. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't know what we're doing. Let me what ask doing you a few time. questions. And this Tuesday, I guess we'll pick up, we'll keep going with our um, our Friday the 13th watch alongs. I guess this Tuesday we can do part six. We'll do Jason Lives. Awesome. One of my favorites. I Part six and part four are always in battle for my number one spot. I, I, sometimes part four is my favorite one. Sometimes part six is my favorite one. There's our boy. There's our boy. So, what do you, so this Sunday will be interesting because they, they arrived. Pat, you got the expensive nice. one. There we go. Yes, I did. I'm a son of a bitch. Did it have the same stuff on the inside, by the way? I actually just got them. I haven't even opened. Like, this is still covered. This one has still got the plastic on it. It just came. So I have to open it up over the weekend and take a look at it. Hold on, let me go get my stuff. Let me go. Let me go get my uh, fun stuff. Cool. I still think it's like the perfect bottle to look at it. That too. That and Buffalo Trace—they both got a cool bottle. You know, you get a kick out of this, is though like. Uh oh, what do here you, you go. Got here? here you go, Brett. Bot. Bot. There you go. Good shit. Did you work this week? 
No, actually, I, I, I worked last week a couple of days and the job kind of we finished it up and he didn't have nothing for me again this week, which wasn't bad because I was sick again all week. So at least I didn't have to take off of work. But at the same point, it's like, what the hell, man? Can you have me come back and then just only to go back and sit at home again? That's a bummer, dude. Yeah, it is what it is. Like I said, I was sick all week again as a dog. So, uh, you know, who knows? I probably would have missed a bunch of work anyway. So. Is it the weather change that does it for you? That and like I said, I went I, I, two weeks ago, I was really sick. And then last week I was all better. I went to work. I was all good. And then last weekend I went to a concert this past weekend. And I think that's all it took. You know, the very next day I started feeling like shit again already. Oh Get out in public, you know. You know about this guy, Bill? You know who that guy is? I'm trying to see who that is. Is that that Bucky guy? <laughs> What's that? Everybody's talking about Bucky's now. It's like everywhere. It's our buddy, Bucky. Try <laughs> that Halloween shit with me. And I got to put Bucky, <laughs> Bucky stickers that I've got on the Bucky helmet. Also, those, there's none of those anywhere near here, right? So hopefully this weekend I should have some time. I'll be doing some taste testing on the channel. I did, if you guys remember, I did a taste test for the Myers energy drink. Yeah. Mm. Well, next will be the energy. Next one will be the Chucky Ooh. energy drink. Nice. Then I'll be doing, which one is this? The Freddy energy drink. Fuck it. Take a break between those. Don't oh. hurt yourself. No, not all at once. Cause I'll be flying. And then, of course, the Friday 13th the energy drink. Mm. So keep a look at it. I'll be doing, and I'm probably just going to mix them all with vodka because it tastes better with vodka. <laughs> uh, okay. Now that you showed them, Pat, what are the flavors of each one? Uh, good question. Sorry. So no, the, the Chucky is, does it say? Um, it just says killer focus. <laughs> Doesn't have Bill, a flavor. Do you like energy drinks? Um, no, the only energy drink I drink is five hour energy. It's the only yeah, one that does anything. Though I'm gonna tell you, that's the automatic. Friday one is called Kick and Slash, and the Freddy one is Dream I Demon. I have that often. I have probably maybe one every few months. I'm not. Any, I don't drink any drink, drink, drinks at all. But I figured I'd review them for the channel and uh, but. Yeah, some, mix them with some fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the five hour energy is the only one that it wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. It'll keep me awake. It won't pep me up, but it'll keep me awake. You know, so I just don't know if I would have one of those. I, I could never have one of those if I'm I, I'm scared to death to have that with alcohol. So it's only if I gotta stay up for whatever reason. <laughs> five hour energy, all, all it is is vitamins. It's uh there's there's like zero sugar, there's only uh, enough same amount of caffeine as in a cup of coffee. And uh, it's like all vitamins, like B12 and shit like that. Just that little thingy. Yeah. It'll keep me awake. It won't, it won't, it won't pat me up. I won't get all like, hey, but it'll, like, if I, if I feel like I'm getting tired and I, I still want to be up for a few Absolutely. hours, you know, you know okay. do one and I'll so stay it doesn't, affect, it doesn't mess with you if you're having any boots. Kind of grabs you by the poo-poo, don't it? Yeah, depends. If you, <laughs> if you, you know, have an empty stomach, maybe. Bucky, let's do this. Let's have a uh, cheers to Tales from the Dark Side launching our first episode. Thank you for everybody Spots. that joined us, too. And for those that joined in, even though most people probably don't have it on DVD, go get it on DVD and join us. You'll be yes. glad you did. And Bill, thank you for embarking on this journey with us. Yes, Thanks absolutely, Bill. Thanks for having me, man. This is awesome. And uh, we'll we'll be back on Sunday night for the podcast. We have zero idea what we're doing yet, but we'll figure something out. Did we all do we go rare there? Some ideas in the in the comments below because I don't think anybody's really watching. There's a couple of people watching. Throw it in the chat before we get off. Hit us up in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button. I always tell people hit that fucking like button. Don't cost nothing. Don't play that shit with us. <laughs> and hit the subscribe button. <laughs> You know, these uh, these days you pretty much have to blow somebody. If I could, I would just hit the subscribe button. Don't cost nothing. And um, 
see you guys hang out. We'll say our goodbyes afterwards. And uh, we'll figure out when we do episode two of this. We'll plan something out. Yes. Oh, yeah. Next weekend's out because this this time next Friday, Brett and I will be uh, intimate. We'll be drunk and intimate at this point. <laughs> I'll be taped up, strapped up. <laughs> oh, All wait. Right, I, don't, don't film that part. <laughs> No, no. Hey, what's up, Mo? What's up, Mopar? What's up? Hey, Mopar. What's going on, man? What's shaking? What's Actually, what do you call it? I think what um, Agnat's doing a podcast right now too. We can go break their balls when we get off. Oh, are they on too? Oh shit! Yeah, they've been doing them on Friday nights. Thanks, for right, good eyes. Awesome. Have a great weekend. Hopefully, we see you on, on Sunday. Appreciate it. Night. Thanks for checking us in and uh, checking us out. And uh, you guys hang out. And everybody, we will uh, get the fuck out of Dodge. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Later. I am talking about the real possibility that he is still out there.